Hey hey, hi ho cat guys, I'm Tangar Game Glass and today we would play Hustle Castle and I'll tell you everything what I know about this game, it's a guide and it, very, it would be very detailed guide about all kind of gameplay feature features in this game and I want to start with uh, cross roads when you play this game you could choose certain strategies you, I call it like you ha could have three main strategy. First strategy is to just play normal way. I mean, upgrade all rooms in your castle and not rush. Just when you upgraded all rooms in your castle, then you upgrade uh, your throne room and something like this. Uh, it's first strategy and it's uh, okay actually it's how developers designed this game but there are a lot of certain interesting moments which I'll uh, tell you for example how to lower your rating so a lot of people when they play this game they meet uh, the problem when uh, other players at the map they're too powerful uh, and to solve this thing there are several uh, strategies how to win almost always and get a lot of resources uh, when I just started this game uh, with my clan mates I was like the weakest person in my clan I was the weakest person in my clan and like some people they had level 50 uh, 55 uh, level 55 um, troops for example Mustafa very nice guy hello Mustafa uh, and when I just started I was like 20 or 30 level but right now I have uh, 55 level troops and most of my clan they have like 40 level is it bad for them? Is it good for me? Well, I'll explain you. It's second uh, strategy. So first strategy is to just develop your castle as developers mm, made in their mind. Just not in a rush and that's it. So second, the most popular actually uh, strategy in this game, it's like to slow down your progress. For example, my clan, most of uh, people in my clan, they are very smart and experienced players and what they do they uh, and a lot of other people who play Hustle Castle uh, they not rush uh, they do not upgrade barracks they do not upgrade fighting, fighter training room even if they could do it why they do not do it so it's like anti-rush strategy because uh, in this game you could play arena and at arena you fight versus people with the same uh, level and amount of your troops so if you have barracks level uh, like with if you have in your barracks only four troops and you have four troops level 30 for example you would fight at arena only versus them that's why a lot of people in this game i mean like most of players they choose this second strategy do not rush so they do not upgrade throne room uh, well, even if they could they do not upgrade uh, fighting training room even if they could and it's kind of effective they at certain moment they starting to win tournaments in at arena and they achieve uh, a lot of uh, arena points and they could buy cool stuff but in this uh, strategy there are some weak points which i'll show you later ah and of course uh, another i think it would be four strategies uh, it's guys who rush guys who rush in this game they just uh, upgrade a throne room they upgrade uh, fighting training room they upgrade barracks as soon as they could so even if uh, some of uh, buildings in their castle not upgraded yet 
they just uh, upgrade as fast as they could. They want to become more high level, like to have throne room 10 as fast as they could. Uh, and uh, it's kind of also kind of strategy and uh, it's possible to play like this, I'll say. And fourth strategy, fourth strategy, uh, it's which I play and I'll tell about it in this video. So, because it's a bit different. Um, so, first, I, I just, okay, let me t tell about this strategy. What I do, I uh, upgrade all rooms in my castle and I upgrade uh, fighting training room only when I uh, have it maxed. So when all my troops maxed, I do it. Also, uh, I, I'm not sitting at my level for a long time. I do not play arenas. Why? Because I would play them later. You see, you see I have some tickets. So I save it for later. So I play like long term strategy. You could play short term strategy. It means that you could have profit very soon. So if you play arenas, you could have profit uh, very soon. You could buy these artifacts. The problem of artifacts that they have requirement for a certain level range. So after this range, you wouldn't be able to equip these items. So some people, for example, who uh, I'm sorry, but most of players in my clan, they choose this uh, strategy. They buy uh, all these uh, artifacts. They play arena a lot. It's cool. It's interesting to play like this. But uh, you sit at one level for very long time and you um okay it's where it's very slow it's very slow way and uh, for example as i said when i joined my clan first i was the weakest player right now i am mm, one of the people who have 55 level and i think i'll be first player who would go level 70. you some people they call it rush but it's not a rush because i upgrade all buildings in my castle and I wait when all my troops would be trained. So it's like balanced strategy. It's something like smart rush. You could rush just ignore a lot of buildings in your castle and just upgrade throne room, upgrade fighting training room and that's it. But I'm playing most of the time what I do in this game. I grab resources from other players in PvP battles. So. Uh, you see, I had like 400 uh, attacks and I'm kind of new player. For new player, it's quite a lot. And as you see, I didn't uh, win any tournament. How I play tournaments? I'll show you. I'll just join them when I have extra food. I join tournaments and then I for forget about them. I do not play them at all. Uh, and after they finished, I always receive 10 uh, points and chest. So for me, tournaments, uh, I just ignore them and if I have too much food and I do, I'm too lazy or I do not have time to play, I just join there to to receive a chest from tournament. So sometimes you could get nice items from it. And I'll, of course, I'll play tournaments, but not right now. I'll play tournaments much later uh, at level 100 i'll start to farm good items and how to farm items very easy from invasions from portal so yeah it's just a small description of my strategy and now i want to uh, discuss with you just tiny moments secrets and other uh, stuff about this game uh, which i understood so a lot of players, when they start to play this game, they afraid that their castle would be attacked. What I could say, it's super rare when somebody attack you. And uh, you see, most of the time when somebody attacked me, I won. Um, because, no, okay, sometimes people win, sometimes I. And it's, it's very rare. 
occasion. So, what I could say, um, of course it's nice to have defenses in your castle, but it's not really necessary. Uh, and do not afraid that you would be grabbed. So, for example, you see I have quite a lot of resources, but I'm not grabbed. How? How you could do it? You have to lower your rating. It's kind of like all players who play this game, they do this. It's like feature. Uh, my rating right now 1590. Uh, so, for example, sometimes when I will try to fight with uh, some people, let's try to find someone who is powerful. Well, this guy, for example. So, you see, he is much more powerful than me. And at certain moment, you would start to meet such guys very often. What to do? You have to lower your rating. To do so, the fastest way is just to move all your fighting troops somewhere. And then you just attack okay, like, like this. You attack any anyone. Just random people, you attack them with one of your guys, and that's it. You lose, you lose, and when you lose, you lose your rating. And you uh, begin to receive less uh, dangerous enemies at the map. So you have to repeat it like 10 times. So after you break into the wall, after you stumped you just go at the map and you lose like 10 times or something like this and then your rating drop and you could go and farm resources again i mean like 90 percent of players doing so and if you're not doing so you have to start but because it's like main feature uh what what, what uh, after after you do so another thing which is good for you that you uh you are not you see i win a lot of times why because okay so, someone also this guy he is lowering his rating but uh just when at lower rating it's less chances that you would be attacked so i recommend to lower your attack then nobody would uh attack you or if they attack they would uh, lose so it's like small and important feature of the game. Actually, I do not like these mechanics, but it's how it works. And um, it's like everybody doing this and uh, there is no way to do something else. Uh, another big thing about, you see, I have a lot of pregnant uh, guys in my castle because when I'll upgrade my throne room yet another time, they would immediately give me a lot of babies and uh, i wouldn't i wouldn't need to wait for uh, wait when uh, my guys make uh, babies so it's like another small tip small feature even if you are not uh, waiting a lot of time if you need a lot of time till new throne room still you could have all your girls in the castle pregnant uh, all my, uh, I, by the way, it's very funny that in PvP battles, sometimes I met, uh, I meet people like with 55 level troops and they all two or three stars. Uh, so one of the most important thing is to have all your troops, all your, how they called, like all your people in your castle have them five stars it's very easy actually to achieve it would it could um, when you start to play this game you could think that oh it's so hard but it like maybe two weeks or a week and you would have a lot of uh, four and maybe one or two five star troops to do so what you need uh, you have to um, bring to your living room uh, men and girls with the highest stars which you have so I right now I have all five stars so I ca can't uh, just show you uh, how I did it but you but at first you have like three star 
uh, or two, two star uh, troop, two, two star people, two star men and three star woman. So you bring them here, they make their happy things and if you get something bad, you are not lucky, but eventually it's possible to get um, your goal is to get one four star and when you get one four star if it's a man you are a very lucky guy with this one four star man you bring all your girls to him and eventually you would get five star so it's like it's long process of course but you see it's the on, when you get five star one five star uh, man it's very easy to make all your castle five stars so your goal is like to have one if you start with three three stars you wait for one four star then you have three and four you wait for another four star when you have two four stars you go farther and farther with it it's another uh, thing and i am amazed that a lot of people they play uh, do not train for battle um, do not train characters with small amount of, tar of stars. When you just start to play this game, of course, you have to do it. But when, when you have like four star troops, when you could have five star troops, train them. Do not train uh, troops with, for, for fighting low level troops because it's useless. You can't uh, have them more than certain level so it's actually e easier to get five stars you just need small amount of patience small amount of patience in compare to another things in this game i mean in this game you need a lot of patience uh, and uh, let's uh, now uh, talk about activities in this game what you could do here uh, first thing uh, you could uh, yeah campaign you could go through campaign and uh, it's okay to go through campaign i would say that better do not rush it so the only thing which you need from this campaign is to have more pvp battles so each campaign which you close campaign you would uh, there would start some uh, enemy castles appearing and it's main reason why you should open them but uh, actually campaign it's very good source of uh, chests and uh, this chest they're really useful so i would say that if you would choose strategy which i play and uh, it means that you would try to train your troops as high a level as you could of course uh, to upgrade all your buildings with it uh, so it's like smart rush and uh, if you would do so why it's good um, because then when you would have for example level 70 or level 100 it's very easy to get if you still have some campaigns open very easy to get uh, more chests and to get um, basic items like uncommon items uh, and yeah why it's good to rush in levels of your fighters some people they say that oh it's so bad it's so bad actually it's good for long-term strategy again because people who right now for example level 30 level 40 uh, my troops they are more useful in clan wars and they are better in game bay and even for example if you are uh, Staying at one level, at, at certain level, you even can't go. Game Bay opened only with throne room level se level eight. So, I would say that it's good idea because at, then you could just craft items. You could craft items uh, for your troops after you receive high level. You could craft items. You could uh, clean invasions. You could go um, to portal portal actually it's like alternative you could go arenas with low level troops and farm there for artifacts you see people still play and i just receive free chest from it so uh, <laughs> uh, you could play arenas 
or you could play portal so um, I could achieve higher uh, portal levels than um, uh, people who stay at the same level over and over so the highest level uh, guys you have the um, higher level portal the more shards from portal you could get so it's not very hard to get good items for high levels i would say it's better to go naked for high levels not almost naked like if you would look at my troops let me show you uh, they all have like okay i'm 55 level and i have 34 uh, armor so you see 35 armor and i'm 55 the only <coughs> item i get is this one a 54 crossbow but it's very easy actually to get all these items the only thing which you need do not craft do not spend your sh shards save these shards for later save these shards for high levels and uh, this strategy it works very good if you play free to play so if you done if you donate in this game a lot uh, if you spend real money then uh, actually it's okay to stay at level 30 or level 40 with four troops for a long time and you could get the best gear uh, quite easy and it would be quite i'll say um, quite boring because uh, in, if you join clan and yeah the most interesting thing in this game it's clan clan wars and clans uh, you would see that some people they go more higher levels than you and uh, it's kind of what i could say <laughs> it's it's a bit boring to sit at one level i i tried it i'll say i i tried it i tried to play at 30 um, level with my four troops but it was so boring because i didn't uh, pay for items in this game i didn't uh, pay to win in this game so you need to farm a lot of uh, items to be successful in arenas and then all these items they would thank you <laughs> then they would be useless so even these artifacts you farm a lot you get, get this artifact but at level 60 for example it would be useless for me and at level 60 you your, your my enemies with level 60 they would be much uh, weaker than i am at level 75 for example and what i could say um, it's not a popular strategy and some people a lot of people they would say that it's bad it's it's rushing but I'll say it's normal kind of gameplay, so you could just slow down or you could rush in this game. And most of players in this game, they slow down, they sit at the same level for a long time. And it's really stupid, uh, it's boring and it's bad in long term strategy. Because all your gear which you farm for a month, it's become useless when you finally make decision to move on. When you make decision to... Uh, go to from level 30 you think okay i tired from level 30 let me go 55 and your your gear would be like mm, useless there it wouldn't help you much because at 55 you could get much better and at 70 level 70 you would get even even better than it so yeah it's important thing i mean it's what this game about about your decision uh, at which levels to stay it's like more important than other stuff so uh, considering this portal uh, it's uh, actually how people play this portal most uh, people they just uh, farm uh, farm souls for purple shard for example uh, or two purple shards they're trying to make uh, and when they get 10 purple shard they craft items so also you could get chests here it's another thing and invasions uh, right now i do not have any invasion but uh, it's very easy um, things and a bit boring to me because they're too repetitive 
uh, you even do not need to heal your troops when you go invasions you will just go uh, from one invasion to another without healing because it's there very easy to to pass through them and you also get items from it so another thing which i want to tell you about my strategy it's that items it's not a problem do not afraid that if you rush you would be naked because uh, it's not not a problem to get items why i still uh, I only have this item but because I'm I just I just got level 55 and right now I'm I'll today I'll start to upgrade my uh, fighting trainer I'll move to 70 and at 70 I wouldn't stop for a long time too because I'll move to um, I don't know, 85 or what whatever and the only thing which you need to move on it's to fight with these PvP battles. And it's very easy again because you could lower your rating. And let's see this guy, for example, he has 300 uh, resources, but he is very high level. How he appeared here? Why I've met him? Because he, uh, you see, he's 85 level. Because uh, he lowered his rating. That's it. And you could do the same. You see, he do not have any artifacts, for example. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, and you see, he has a four-star troop at level 80. You see, he all, almost all his three of his troops is four stars. It's just face palm. Because, yeah, it's uh, it, you just lose so much freaking so much time uh, leveling these troops. Uh, and with four star it's like throwing your time into trash can train only five star troops so uh, let's talk about uh, resource management the first thing which you have to upgrade it's your food food it's a key uh, to everything and you have to train your uh, troops at the kitchen uh, you have to upgrade your food at once another thing is to upgrade your uh, food storage of course it's also a good thing it's how i start every time when i uh, upgrade th throne room next thing it's your spells uh, research center magic magic lab uh, because you have too much mana when you just start to play this game you have too much mana and you have to spend them spend all this mana on upgrading your spells which spells are the best of course the best spells it's um, let me show it uh, okay let's let's craft and I'll show you the best spells is lion spirit because it's increase your damage of your troops for 50% for 20 seconds it's imba so you have to take it always Second useful, this one. It's useful just because it's better than another things. <laughs> okay. Uh, this is rubbish, but when you just start to play, you could use it. Uh, this is uh, when you would have healing ray, you could stop using magic orb because it's better to heal your troops in time. Uh, this orc, mm, I wouldn't say that it's useful at all. Uh, for some so, so for some builds you could use it but uh, it's better to have survivability and for icy trap this is the most useful thing after these two so I use uh, what I use mm, I use two I just right now I have only one I use two ice traps one raging and one armor so I start the battle, let me show you, um, okay, let's fight with this guy, he is too weak, nah. you see, uh, so, it's just, you do not need to spend anything when you fight with such uh, troops, but I, I use first armor to have uh, more survivability, so if I have hard battle, I use armor, then I use uh, freezing or uh, 
and rage depends on how much damage do I get. But if you fighting with strong opponent, you always start with a defense and then you use offensive spells. So this is Clan Wars. Let me show you what is it. It's the most interesting thing in the game, Clan Wars. Uh, because uh, you have a lot of different conditions and uh, you could make very smart tactics in it. So, uh, how Clan Wars going through? You have a lot of points at the map and you could deploy your uh, troops uh, at uh, different points. They all have their unique properties. Some of them they just do not have. You could deploy and choose uh, which uh, guys to put there yeah uh, to do it you spend food right now I, I do not have food you see so um, we would recover it it's not problem um, uh, this is too much yeah. <laughs> let's uh, do it like this Uh, you uh, you have such option to send uh, add your friends with whom you play you see all these guys in my friend list it's people from my clan it's very nice uh, because uh, i send them resources and it's always nice to make your clan uh, stronger you could send only uh, 10 gifts and for sending you I receive a chest. Let me show you. Yeah, this one. So it gives some food, plenty of food, and I now I have enough food to join Clan War. So you see, some of my uh, clan mates they already um, joined, and, and they, all these points they have different properties. For example, this only Throne Room Six could join. For example, Sam, you see, it's uh, he's very good guy, by the way. Hello Sam, but he, he is going this the most popular strategy when you do not up your uh, le levels of your buildings. I think that Sam could go throne room 9 if he would like to, but he stay at the um, this throne room, throne room 6, you see, throne room 6. He stayed for a very long time because he playing arena and he tried to get the best gear. It's okay again, um, so a lot of people they do it, but uh, it's very different from my strategy. Because you see Sam uh, with the best items, with all these artifacts and level 40, he has power five, 400. And I'm uh, with my thrash, or really trash uh, guys, I have almost the same. Uh, power but uh, and I am just 15 levels more and when I'll be 70 level 70 it will be even much more so yeah it's depending on what you like if you like to play arena and to win at arena it's good thing to do like this but I just like to level up I like to be to have RPG element in the game and uh, arena it's of course okay thing but I'll do it later. I'll do it in few months. I'll start to play arena and I'll start to have the best gear at level 100. <laughs> yeah. And it's what like I choose. I've chosen to be useful to my clan because when I just joined my clan, I was weakest player in my clan. I was really weakest and all people, they were much stronger and higher, higher than me. And I've decided, okay, I wouldn't do it. All people, they said, oh, you have to stay at level 30 and level 40 and try to play rings but i thought no way then i wouldn't uh, be useful for clan wars and right now you see i'm very useful and i like it so uh, every point at the map let's go to clan wars has its own properties some of them you see uh, some of them only for throne room six for example some could be only for thr throne room uh, nine uh, so every player in your clan could be useful uh, People for, for example who like to rush they could be useful people who like to stay low at level 30 for example They could be useful. So it's like your choice your choice of your stretch, but 
I just noticed that most of the people they stay low and it's kind of okay <laughs> it's good for them so uh, you deploy your uh, guys here for food and then let me show you how uh, this clan wars going through ah, by the way you have very nice rewards for this clan wars um, so it's to, it's certainly very good thing to join clan wars and it's another good way to get uh, very powerful items so when you would become level 100 and level 85 uh, you just join every clan war which you could and you would get legendary um, or epic item guaranteed for clan wars yeah it's another uh, source of items so um, i just want to show that uh, it's I, I've met a lot of comments at Reddit, for example, that uh, oh, it's so bad to rush because you would you would feel yourself very weak at high levels. At, at first, okay, you maybe would be, but uh, you get item, you would get good items very fast actually if you uh, would play active. So, uh, oh, thank you. Could I have water, please? Uh, what what is Clan Wars? Uh, let me show you. Ah, you see, we have three <laughs> rewards. Chest. Mm. Let me show you. I'm trying to remember how to. Look. Ah, yeah. Uh, okay. Let me show you. So, how Clan Wars going? Why it's the best thing? I play a lot of mobile uh, games and. In this game, it's the best clan wars which I saw. Um, and every point you have a fight uh, with a lot of different troops. So, for example, let's look how this fight's going on. Uh, let's make it faster. So you see one group fighting with another, and when somebody win. He go farther. It's so cool. I like it so much. So this is really uh, gives a lot of uh, tactics and strategy for you and your clan, especially at high levels when you just to start to play. And also, for example, our guild we are not top guild, of course. We are like new new player guild. But at high levels, especially when people uh, compete a lot and uh, there are so much tactical interesting features and advantages in this clan wars so it's i think it's why you should play this game to play clan wars let's go back to our resource management so why we need food why we should upgrade food first because we needed to fight in clan wars <laughs> and to be able to get resources for upgrades from PvP battles. So when you just start to play, uh, it's very cheap to attack other players. But when you upgrade your throne room, uh, you need a lot of food. You need a lot of food uh, to attack another players. Um, so actually, I could upgrade. You, I could get a lot of food from my food chests. But I am a bit uh, tired today, so I wouldn't play. I'll uh, return back tomorrow to it, so that's why I wouldn't restore it. I just want to share with you my some other uh, tips. Uh, what is the best defense for your castle? What's the most important thing? The most important is, of course, uh, stunning. This uh, ballista which hit enemies and stunning, why it's the best thing? Because it's reduce your incoming damage, it's reduce their uh, healing or could help you to prevent resurrection so do not use other stuff it's really shitty another thing which is the best from runes of course thing which increase damage which uh, your enemy take because other stuff it's like uh, not so good that's it <laughs> so it's not really uh, I, I i um sometimes i meet people who put something different here and what I could say, it's kind of not effective, just not effective. 
why why I win quite a lot when I fight when people attack me because I have right things and uh, another thing it's to um, <laughs> I forgot what I want to talk Ah, um, actually, this thing is the last thing which you should upgrade. This arsenal with uh, upgrades. It's not really very useful. Ah, yeah, uh, finally. And which troops you should take? Um, the most popular and effective is to have a tank, a healer, who heal and yeah, this one he resurrect and healer so one mage who heal one mage for resurrection and tank if you already have it you could just add archer because he make enormous dps and also he has nice uh, buffs like increasing his own uh, uh, crit and other stuff and uh, second tank Second tank, it's not a pop, not very uh, popular to have two tanks, but uh, some people they use uh, dagger, assassin in the uh, front, but it's all rubbish, guys. <laughs> you have to use tanks with stunning, tanks with a mace, tanks tanks with a stunning. It's the best thing because stunning it's prevent uh, incoming damage from you and your tanks. They are better. I tried to play with a lot of healers, so I, I tried to play like one warrior and three healers and one archer, something like this, and it was all rubbish because, yeah, it just doesn't work like this. You need resurrection. Resurrection it's one of the best things because it gives you enormous uh, amount of health. Because you see, so resurrect like give you yet another. Um, yet another troop. Some people they even play with two resurrections and one heal. You could try what, what you have. But uh, the most important thing actually to look at your items. If you have, for example, if you have very good um, armor for your... Um, for example, you have two armors for assassin. They do not use second tank. Create your second tank like assassin with a lot of dodge uh, you see this armor for example it's in, in re restoring health so it's very possible to create tank who wear assassin like this armor like this so you you choosing what to play which team to have from your items best items which you have you create from them your team but yeah resurrection and heal it's like um, necessary thing uh, about this thing uh, the most important at first of course it's most important to train your cookers your guys who cook but then the most important become laboratory uh, by the way ah, this guy he finished so we could uh, change him why laboratory because you see it's all these laboratory guys Um, I'll give this this girl would go here. No, 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 not here. Uh, because you have so much buildings when you need alchemy skill. So uh, this alchemy skill, you use it to speed up your spell um, spell production. You use it to speed up your. Sp ah, by the way, we need to put yet another um, thing to research here. Yeah. But I can't do it because you see my mana production it's right now upgrading. So uh, you need to upgrade these guys as up. Uh, at the at first when you just start to play, uh, at first month you do not need much mana and you need, do not need to upgrade these things. But later on it would be the most important to have alchemy because uh, for example these guys you see they speed speed up my um, production of my uh, spell upgrades which go very very long 
like three days to upgrade one spell um, and you have too much mana also right now I have low mana because yeah my production mana production um, well it doesn't work it's upgrading so um, it's important thing it's important thing to upgrade your alchemy uh, then what about uh, crafting of your items do not uh, speed up I, I would say just have these uh, shards in your pockets till you go to the level which you want and then craft a lot of items for it do, do not uh, rush and do not rush to destroy all your equipment at first when i uh, started to play i destroyed just almost everything and sometimes i thought oh why i did it because uh, especially at the beginning of the game i would say but do not destroy anything except destroying to close these uh, daily quests uh, i'm quite uh, lazy right now to complete all of these uh, quests every day uh, but uh, actually it's very good source of getting items again at uh, high levels it's very good but sometimes uh, i want to share, show you funny thing sometimes items they do not uh, really influence for example you see i have level 35 item and here we have level 47 but my level 35 have more spell power and it's the thing which i need most at my healing because healing depends on spell power so healing and resurrection so you see i wear 35 armor at both of my priests um, and this 47 i would destroy it one day but i do not rush because maybe i'll need it for someone and for whom you would need these items to go game 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 bay uh, what is it it's kind of new content and uh, i am a bit lazy to go through it but let me just uh, show you how it looks like um, I, I just show you as an example i because a lot of people they didn't uh, saw it they didn't see it be because you could open it only at throne room 8 so what is it uh, you fight in a row with a lot of people at first you fight with a quite easy peasy uh, players but later on you fight with more and more powerful ones you fight at such ship and it's kind of looks fun ah, i forgot to get my spells it's okay because at first you do not need spells at all you see this guy he has one um, one mage and two, th three tanks. It's not really a smart strategy. Uh, so, how to how to play these battles effectively? Let me tell you a few things. Uh, you should try to use first uh, use your weak guys. Uh, first use your weak guys and then later on uh, use your powerful ones. Then. Um, of course, uh, you could you could donate in this game. It's pay to win game. You have to understand that this game it's pay to win, and you could uh, always buy these mercenaries and powerful spells. But I do not uh, pay, so I. Mm, if you play in such light mode, like for fun, you you also you see I play for fun, but I am very useful for my clan and. It's nice to have part of to be part of community, but uh, like, like uh, what I could say, uh, the, the, these games you need them. Oh, you always need them. Actually, it's not only end game thing because these games they always uh, it's always possible to use them um, after you. You could just uh, take your item and enhance it uh it's very good thing to do why because if you wouldn't need this item you could remove your games from it so these games they are ether eternal it's uh, like not, not all people they know about it and that's why i want to tell to tell you um you could upgrade your games for a long time and use them uh, with new items so you have enhanced you could enhance items enhance games and you could merge games 
to do so you need a scroll and it's another way to win thing mm, of course uh, actually it's not very hard to get these crystals but all crystals which i have i put it uh, on goblins so where you should what you should buy in this game let me let's talk about pay to win a bit about donation it's always nice to give developers a cup of coffee it's not a problem and i also uh, bought something when i just started to play i bought one month of premium but now it's ended and uh, actually it's not really useful to have premium in this game the only the most useful thing is that your healing works everywhere and you do not need to move your troops there all another things about premium it's kind of rubbish thing so uh, it's all rubbish happiness it's rubbish because you get your resources from pvp battles extra resource from pvp battles is like 10 percent it's also nothing uh 30 nobody would attack you uh, construction reducing construction times it's a useful thing but so not not critical daily chest rewards it's also rubbish this one the only useful thing it's hospital which restore you do not need to move your um, guys and also more spells this one twice as many gifts from your players from friends i think it's even worse than to have it it's worse because you need to do more stupid things and all other stuff like okay we could speed up battle it's also nice but it's not a critical but what's a critical it's to have a goblin i put all my crystals and you get plenty of crystals from game activities without pay without donations i pay for goblins because they take resources they upgrade your uh, troops uh, who train here and there so goblin must have it's thing which you have to buy another thing to spend your crystal it's to have more builders try to get two builders and it would be um, enough actually but the more the better but to do to play with it uh, to have a lot of builders you need to play very active to grab a lot of resources from another players and actually what i could say about hustle castle at first month this game is super fun and interesting but the more i play it the more greedy is it it's it and i just now i enjoy i enjoy progress i like that my troops they training i like to upgrade my buildings and it's like the thing which give me pleasure and also i like to participate in wars in clan wars and it's like very calm gameplay i even sometimes i have full uh, food and i do not spend it or i spend it at arena uh, because after a month this game it become not so uh fresh maybe if you play a lot of arenas uh, it's more fun but actually arenas i i, I tried them and it's not a um, really exciting thing to me also so the most the most interesting is clan wars of course and to do to play them you do not need to pay uh, real money into this game at all by the way uh, remove uh, these things from your castle because they give you games See, they give you games small amount but still it's nice <laughs> uh, uh, what next uh, actually another yeah thing that all your treasury uh, all these buildings which produce resources they give oh by the way these girls i need to move them uh, they give so small amount of resources in compared to pvp battles so you actually could yeah some people they do it you could just ignore uh, this uh, resource buildings if you wish i like to upgrade uh, that's why i upgrade everything i'm not rushing in upgrades but actually all my resources which i have is just from grabbing other players and it's the most easiest way to get resources because look uh, treasure with a lot of cool stuff cool uh, guys with uh, equipment 
11,000, so it's like 240,000 gold. It's nothing, guys. It's nothing at my at throne room 8. It's to fight with one or two players at the map. And it's kind of... Mm, nothing, nothing, nothing. So do, do not... Uh, the only thing which you need from it, it's uh, daily quests. So some daily quests like gold collector, collect gold from your treasury, give you these chests which could have um, good items. And it's nice to have it. So... Uh, a lot of people they ask when should I upgrade throne room, when should I upgrade barracks and training fighting room. But uh, most of the people they ask about throne room and I'll say, sorry, upgrade it as soon as you um, finish with other buildings. So when I upgrade it, when I finish all my upgrades, all buildings, when I do not have any available um, buildings to upgrade, I upgrade throne room. I do not wait. First I, I did it, but then I I started to play my um, different way of gameplay. So, why why it's okay? Because uh, you get resources from PvP battles and they depend on your rating. Only. Only on your rating. So, uh, throne room it influence it doesn't influence much at your gameplay actually thing which influences is your uh, amount of troops in your team it influence uh, arenas and their level it's influence arena that's why um, if you do not play arena if you plan to play arena at end game when you would become like 100 or 85 level then you um, could just upgrade everything as soon as possible. It's possible, like I do it. And uh, this uh, Dark Souls portal, actually, uh, it's it's like alternative to Arena. You could get here very good items, very good, um, a lot of um, this Soul Dark Souls, uh, and guys who stay at one level at stay at level 30 and level 40 they do not play dark soul they do not play portal at all well, because it's like useless so if you go if you level up it's like promotion of my strategy in this video you see uh, if you level up you just go you could go very high in the portal of uh, much faster than people who stay at the same level for a long time so it's like you have a lot of choices in this game, you could do a lot of stuff and it's fun. Developers are very active uh, in, a, in um, game development and they constantly changing balance. For example, uh, they uh, archers attack rate increased for 12%, so they uh, make archers more powerful right now but soon they could make them less powerful and do not think that team which you have right now it would be always powerful because developers they changing they rebalancing uh, the game every patch almost and uh, i hope that there would be soon more um, content and actually with a game bay it's another fun thing because as i said uh, your games, you could recycle, you could use them for a long time. So, um, okay. So you could use uh, these games, you could upgrade them, and if you do not uh, need the item, you could remove this um, game from item, and it's very nice thing. So, uh, and yeah, do not recycle shards. Do not recycle shards because it's better to use them for crafting. <laughs> it's a very stupid thing uh, to recycle them because uh, it's much easier. You see, uh, you have so much uh, dust uh, for upgrading. It's very easy to upgrade stuff. 
Um, but first, of course, uh, do not upgrade items first to better to mer merge them and then to upgrade. So, actually, I do not have any scrolls yet because it's just this content has just appeared, and again, I am a bit uh, lazy <laughs> uh, to to do daily um, da daily activities in this game. I just uh, level up. I think when I'll achieve level. 100 I'll start to play more active and I'll start to go to arenas and yeah it would be more interesting so uh, guys you see there are a lot of strategies you could spend your time differently and uh, considering do not uh, consider where to spend your diamonds do not spend it on resources no 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 do not spend it on chests maybe mythical chest if you are too rich in real life but it's all uh, rubbish spend it uh, only at goblin assistant all this for example this is decoration do not spend <laughs> gold at this rubbish it's decoration things they do not give you anything so it's like uh, my vision to the game some people they could um, be uh, to have different opinion please write your comments maybe i forgot something and then you could uh, also write comments to tell what you think and uh, to give advice to another players thank you very much for watching see you bye bye okay guys ha and join our clan the right way very nice place to stay bye bye